contrary to belief like on TikTok they will tell you oh post one picture on Instagram and tag that company and you'll get a free wig like no that's not how it works what's up car crew and welcome back to the channel it's your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video today's video was heavily inspired by charisma's world here on YouTube I love her channel I actually found her channel quite not, I guess it's not recently you know my years from like 2020 to now are kind of like all jumbled so i believe i found her channel last year late last year like around october somewhere around there because i know that's when i started my new wig releases videos and i started doing that because of her as well so if you enjoy those videos she does similar ones on her content i mean <laughs> not on her content she does similar videos on her channel but yeah she did a video not too long ago about the truth about being a wig influencer or the truth or the pros and cons about being a wig blogger and i was like she was in some facts and I often get a lot of questions in my DMs about like being an influencer or if I'm um, posting stuff on TikTok they'll be like how did you get free stuff so I wanted to do a video all about the truth about being a wig influencer the truth about being an influencer in general because a lot of the things that I will be going through today are things that are not specific to just the wig community let's go ahead and get into it I did frame it as like a pros and cons list I'm gonna start with my cons because you guys know i always like to end on a positive note so i do want to end this video on a positive note so i'm gonna start with the cons and then go into pros all right you guys so the first con is actually something that someone dm'd me about and it actually is very prominent and this is why i say that the things that i'm talking about are not specific to just the wig community this is being an influencer in general i remember seeing someone's video on tiktok and if i can find it i will include it because i do see him often on my for you page i just don't know his name which is the worst part about tiktok like you will see someone on your for you page for 10 years and then i'll look down and i'll be like i'm not following them like they're on my for you page every day i need support so anyways i will definitely include his um tiktok in this section of the video but my first con is how expensive this this career path or this journey can be especially if you're doing something that's like service re not service related or review related you're going to have to put some money into this it's like an investment i got a dm probably a couple months ago like i mentioned time is not real to me anymore but i got a dm and this young lady was like how are you how do i not go broke trying to do wig reviews and I was like, good question. It's like, if you want to do this, you, now I'm not saying, and I literally told her this. I was like, I'm not saying, I literally told her this. I was like, I'm not saying to go broke, but it's going to be a sacrifice. Like you have to make that first investment into your channel, believing in yourself and paying for those wigs because companies are not contrary to belief like on tiktok they will tell you oh post one picture on instagram and tag that company and you'll get a free wig like no that's not how it works like you really have to put in the work to build an audience in order to do that you have to do a number of wig reviews to even get some sort of recognition so it can be very expensive starting out trying to be a wig influencer because you have to kind of do continuous like consistent wig reviews which get expensive from time to time buying new wigs and things like that and then if you're not seeing a return on investment it can get discouraging so you have to really know your why in terms of why you want to do this because if you just think you're gonna get some quick money I'm sorry to tell tell you you are not about to get no quick money i'm so like it's time to be real you're not gonna get some quick money by doing wig reviews starting out especially how hard it is to get monetized on youtube now and i talked about this in my how to find non-copyrighted music for your vlogs just so that you can be monetized once you get monetized but in order to be monetized you have to have 4,000 watch time which i think that more people focus on the thousand subscribers but that has nothing that is nothing like compared to the 4,000 watch time it takes you a minute to get monetized 
monetized and you're putting all this money into your channel and you might not see that return of investment so it can be very expensive being a wig reviewer it can be very expensive being an influencer even if you are a fashion influencer and you are creating Instagram content girl you have to take multiple outfit pictures so you have to have a lot of clothes to be able to do that it can be very expensive which is not feasible and that's why I brought that TikTok because in that TikTok he kind of talks about how he was able to become a full-time content creator and it's not feasible for a lot of people because you have to you have to put up so much money at first that I don't think people realize how much work and that kind of goes into my next point of how time-consuming this job is i think about this all the time and i think a lot of full-time content creators talk about this as well is that or entrepreneurs in general like if you turn in your nine to five for an entrepreneur to become an entrepreneur you are going to trade in your nine to five for a 24 7 like the amount of times that you have to edit like the amount of time that it takes to film a video to edit a video to create a thumbnail to fill out the description box to it's just so many different moving parts to being a wig influencer to becoming a content creator that i don't think a lot of people realize and it takes a lot of time for you to actually get or publish a video that I don't think a lot of people realize and it's not a con for me because I actually really enjoy this and that's why I talked about knowing your why so if you think that you're if your why is getting rich sweetie I don't know like <laughs> no shade no to I don't know next is oh, this is a big one for me not getting credit and i think that a lot of wig influencers might not resonate with this but it does for me it's similar to like dance credit on tiktok i see so many women so many people recreating my looks without giving me credit and at first it's like you know it kind of hurts because it's like i'm the one who you know put you on you can at least tag me you can at least do that and it's something that i just had to kind of get used to seeing people on my for you page with a look that i know i inspired because sometimes i'll like you know i'll give them the benefit of the doubt and be like no she probably didn't see my tiktok i'll comment on a person's tiktok and they'll be like oh my gosh you're the one and i'm like girl okay you could attack me but okay sis like there's so many times and you kind of just have to and i don't think that this is true for a lot of wig influencers because a lot of wig influencers are just reviewing the wig they don't really see this not i won't say i won't put words in their mouth or like kind of judge them but i like to see myself as a creator or a creative if i will say like even though i love wigs it's not really the wig reviews that i like to do like i like to create new looks i like to test new things um so by cutting bangs or turning a ugly wig into a mullet like that's something that i see as being creative so when you see someone doing what you're what you did or what you created or they're giving more recognition than you it's just hard for you mentally honestly so yeah I don't know if a lot of wig influencers come across that but for me I've seen it a lot and it definitely has gotten to me and I do see it as a con is just like why can't you just say you were inspired why can't you just tag me but you just kind of have to like roll with the punches and if they tag you they tag you if you don't you just have to get used to it but it definitely was a learning curve for me with this career next thing that i will talk about is negative comments i think that that's a given but i don't think people realize how often you might get negative comments or like if you're just having a bad day and then you get a negative comment it's like okay one comment isn't that bad but if you're already having a bad day i don't think people realize that like even though we kind of signed up for this you're still human like okay i decided to upload a video that doesn't mean that you can be rude to me in my comments like how does that correlate i don't think it do and it don't so anyways i think i'm gonna move on i do have more cons and i can definitely do a part two but i'm going to talk about my pros because my camera's dying <laughs> no shade no tea but we gotta wrap this video up okay my pros the community Y'all do not understand. I do not have anyone in my real life that really loves wigs or wears wigs, especially synthetic wigs like me. 
So building this community on TikTok and on Instagram and on YouTube has definitely been really helpful. It's allowed me to, you know, explore things and be creative. Also doing this, I'm able to get paid to do what I love. And I think that's such a privilege. Like I don't know many people who are able to say that they have a career that they actually enjoy doing. And I feel so privileged that I'm getting paid to do what I love to do all right you guys and that wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed if you did give this video a big thumbs up i can also do a part two if you guys are interested because i have more that i can dish out but i just wanted to give you guys a little insight into the truth about being a wig influencer because it's not always easy as it might Theme. let me know if you enjoyed this video or if you like sit down chit chat videos i could definitely do more but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys real hot girl shit yeah i'm in my bag but i'm in his too and that's why every time you see me i got some new shoes